Well, I've been measuring today in the lab here, and I've got these small little paddles. These are little levers that activate um, a part of a chair, an office chair for an arm, an arm stem or an arm pad that goes up and down. So what I've done is uh, I've pulled the CAD model in and I've done some measurement to this, but I wanted to show you guys this um, in the CAD model here in V14. When I pull the CAD model in, I've got some extra surfaces. And I know we've done some videos on that as well as um, how we can delete out surfaces that we don't need in the model. But this one was kind of unique. Um, so I wanted to show you that one and just the differences and just another way that you can delete surfaces out of your CAD model before your measurement session. So jump into V14 here with me and I'll show you this, uh, this trick here. Notice what I've got here is that little paddle right there. If I zoom in on him, you can see him. He's right at the tail end of this, uh, this big CAD model here. And again, it's just this little paddle here. It's only a couple inches long. So what they've done though is this paddle is, uh, is on an arm stem for a chair that allows these arms to go up and down in an arc motion. So what I want to do is delete that out though. But instead of deleting out the CAD that I don't want, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pick from the CAD the part I do want to measure. And the way I'm going to do that is watch my, uh, watch my cursor here if I hit the the space bar there, it turns into the selection tool. And then what I'll do is with my, my two fingers here, I'm gonna go shift, I'm gonna go control at the same time, and then I'm gonna mouse over the part. And then with the left mouse key, notice this dialog or the selection that comes up, select island. Okay, so I'm selecting the part this time. Instead of, of selecting the part I wanna delete, I'm gonna select the part I want to keep. So notice that is all all selected there. I'm going to space bar again to get out of the selection tool. And I don't have any of my CAD picked. It's only the, or the CAD I don't want in there picked. I've got just the part. So now what I can do is I can come up here right to this reference, um, right to the CAD model. I can right mouse key. I can select elements invert. Okay, so when I invert that, notice what happens. The CAD that I don't want goes away. The CAD I want is gray. It's what I want to keep. So now if I hit the delete key, notice what I've got. I have just got my part. So super easy to do that too, man. Just go up to your, to your reference model, right click, select elements, invert. And then whatever you've got selected that is red will show up as gray when you invert it.